Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and in this video I'm gonna show how you can design a dinosaur from scratch. I'm using here these real dinosaurs references to study of course and as you can see I'm gonna select a brush just to give you some examples about lines. Understand the references is an important step actually because if you, we try to design things just by head, we struggle, we get lost, have no ideas, then what happened? We get frustrated. And this is why the anatomy is so important. Anatomy is basically the fundamental of any character and it gives us a direction about the curves and lines, you know. Obviously, we are still studying our character and I hope to help you in this short time. Now we have these two examples, our real and Salizad dinosaurs versions. Let's take a look in these Salizad examples from the movie The Good Dinosaur to understand how their design was done. Basically, here we have these two racks that reminds me Thanos. Big chain, I guess. And this is what we are looking for to understand and to study. And if we compare the head shapes, we can notice these differences between them, of course, such as eyes, expression, head shape, and gesture. And the last one, Stalizar Dinosaur, is from Toy Story. He also has oval head shapes to look more cute, I guess. Now we can notice the all similarities and difference between them since body and uh, styles. Which style you want? More realistic or more cartoon? We can also try to get the idea about proportion and balance because this will reflect in your art style basically since short limbs or long limbs, right? If we try to design a cute character, we can use more soft, rounded, oval shapes like this example. And again, if we try to make a character that, that looks a bad guy, Thanos. You can try to use more triangles, sharp shapes like this shark. Before we start to draw, see which hand position is better for you. In this stage, your hands need to be loose and I'm gonna try to draw in this way. What I'm gonna do firstly now is draw the center line because this line will guide us about the proportion, of course. I hope to bring some new videos um, about drawing if you guys want so in the future. So now I will sketch the character in my game art style and basically I'm drawing moving the shoulders. You can see my hand movements. It's really soft and hot movements, no pressure, and this is how the magic works. Now, what I'm showing here is how the famous rhythm works, with opposite directions creating attractive image. And finally, what I'm doing here is defining the lines. This stage, you can use more pressure, with force, like a pinching someone hard, okay? <laughs> and I think this character likes this being like a baby. Well, no worries, uh, this is a stylized version. Please don't forget, sketch can be always changed like a dog. I mean. Now, I'll apply some shading sketch here, just to say to my future process where we can apply some shadows. We are doing this by values, that means contrast by black and white right when you are drawing if you draw your ideas with strong lines probably you're gonna struggle about it because the main idea about sketch is just plain you are building your character now we can clear the mess of sketch here and now what i'm doing here is lowering the opacity for the first sketch structure right and we can use this as our map to guide us where we can place things I will just select here the pencil tool with fill color which makes a vector path just to create the dinosaur shape and I'm using the sculpt mode to draw or continue the same, same shape basically. Once we get finished the, this character silhouette now we can select the fill tool and apply the color. 
I particularly like to mix gradient and vibrant colors to my designs. As you can see here, we can apply the first shading just by using gradient. Now I'll select the ellipse shape to insert the character eyes and convert it to curves because I want to edit this shape as well. Just adding more one more shape for the eyes light. In this step, I've duplicated the eyes shape to make the orbit depth eyes, bringing some real dinosaurs anatomy elements. Basically, you can also bring some real elements to fit in your taste. You can notice here that when I deal with shadows, I usually make them more saturated. And now I apply a layer effects techniques here to the eyes group. I usually always clone the character eyes to flip and make some modification like size, rotation, you know. I'm speeding up and I'm trying to explain over this video because to explain everything while, while drawing, oh my god. I'll select the paint tool now to draw the line, the character mouth basically. And in this character, I'm not worried about the rig uh, in case that you need to animate for your game or cartoon. You will need to divide into the pieces, uh, I mean sprite, that works pretty well with animation purposes. Now I'm adding here on shape inside of the mouth. This works like clip mask. And now with pencil tool, I will add the teeth. Group them and drag into the mouth shape to clip them as well. Well, the main reason that I like to work with shapes instead of pixels, uh, like Procreate for example, because I usually do a lot of modifications while I'm designing. My skills are also from 3D modeling and I feel much, much comfortable to work in this way. And now I'll draw an arrow to split the character legs, like the Pathfinder from the Adobe Studio, you know. Basically this will divide the shapes and I can delete and clean the forms. In this way, I don't need to lose time to draw the entire legs again. I am adjusting the character body shape because there are some bad curves here while I was doing with pencil tool, you know. I will show you a really nice tool that probably will come to the Affinity Design for iPad version. These little examples is from Affinity Design 1.7 from desktop version. And that you can control the nodes by transform, which is amazing. Now, after selected the brush tool with the insert side option, I'm gonna choose my custom vector brushes. With this brush, I will apply a shading with texture, right? I will clone this vector brush and easily I can change this brush to another one, creating more variants of texture. Really easy and technical, instead of drawing each circle as you can see in this, in this texture. <laughs> Now what I'm doing here is inserting some strips on the tail. You can notice that I even did plan to do this in my sketch. This rule about Fibonacci Fibo, Fibo theory visually saying is really amazing because you can understand the natural sequence of some patterns, natural patterns, you know, flowers, uh, you know. Maybe some of you guys are wondering about these brushes. Uh, I've been working with them a good time actually to make them. And so I can release them on my Green Road someday where I share some free assets and premium assets. You can take a look at there after you finish the video. The link will be available at the description below, okay? Now I will add some textures in these legs to match with the entire body. trying to fix the leg shapes because I really would prefer to see these looks more uh, chicken tainos than a dog, <laughs> you know? And now I'll duplicate these legs objects and move to below the body using the layers panel studio. 
I will do the same for the arms. Uh, I, will, I will not redraw, just using the same objects. And as you can notice, dealing with 2D vector, we can always change the shapes like 3D modeling, but we are modeling like 2D, right? Almost finished. Uh, I always like to make some modifications. For example, here I'm applying the asymmetry key for the eyes, the symmetry key for the eyes. Now it's time to give more color. I mean, shading, shading using layer effects. Basically, we don't need to change the main color for this character. This is pretty technical and easy to manipulate. As you can see, I like to experiment the colors and blade modes. You can also do this as you wish. I want to make more adjustments with my custom brushes, as you can see here. One tip about using layer effects, you can copy these layers effects and apply to another one to match, for example, I did body, layer effects for the body, and I'm applying for the, the same effects into another limb. Now, to finish this idea, here we have these examples that I show you the real project from the famous character, since Shrek, Buzz Lightyear, even a real character from Star Wars. Don't forget, if you want to create, you have to practice, practice and practice. For now, I'm gonna leave you with this speed up process. I'm doing here a scene for this character, just applying my assets, since background, grass, ground, you know, assets. Basically, a lot of them works like layer effects, and you just need to click and apply easily. And yeah, as you can change as well uh, with color effects. Probably I'm gonna make a tutorial for them and upload on my Greenroad store. You can take a look on that. I will add the link here below. All right. As you can see here, I'm just applying these layer effects with tiles. That means. The size can be changed as well with layers, with colors, pretty easy actually. And probably I'm gonna share with you some assets for free, mainly for students. But if you can use this for your professional work, uh, I will add a premium version that you can uh, support this channel, all right? So guys, I'd like to give you an important advice. Many people usually get frustrated because they want to be professional just by watching one single YouTube video. This is not the thing that works. This takes time. So don't compare yourself with, with other people. So that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching, you guys are amazing. Please don't forget to subscribe to support this channel and give a like here if you like, of course. But I hope you like. See you.